Why would you ever freaking... Oh, wow, that was a good shot. This gun is absolutely insanely good, but, like, it's kind of difficult. Okay. Great gun overall, yeah. Ooh. What the frick? Yeah, dude. So, hello, gamers, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you the top five underrated secondaries in Phantom Forces. Make sure to like and subscribe if you're new in the next five seconds or nothing will happen, but I would like if you guys could subscribe. Also, can we talk about how there's, like, two iron sights on the Colts? It's so weird. But yeah, let's just get into it. So, the first gun is going to be going to the Red Hawk 44. And you can run 45 or you can run 44. I think 45 is actually a little bit more known for the Red Hawk, and I actually do kind of prefer the default gun. The Red Hawk is super underrated because it actually has a niche that basically no other revolver kind of fills. It's still very powerful. It still fires pretty quickly. And best of all, it actually has a good reload speed. Most of the revolvers have kind of awful reload speeds, I'm not going to lie. The punish missing beyond belief, because if you actually run out of bullets on them, you're kind of done. And this is without speed loader, and it's still really fast. And not only that, but also... This gun actually fires really quickly and has a great headshot killing range as well. And it can also three shot anywhere on the body at any range and has much higher velocity than most of the other revolvers in the game. So this might be the best overall revolver in the game. It doesn't fire quite as fast as the Mateba of the Rex and it doesn't do as much damage as like the Executioner. But it still does everything pretty good, you know? And the recoil and everything has gotten so much better. And the best thing about it is the reload speed for sure. I think the reload speed is maybe too good, but it does actually set it apart from the other revolvers. And nobody's really like complaining about it, so I don't think it's like a big problem, but it's just an interesting quirk about it. I don't know why it reloads so fast. It doesn't really make any sense why it would reload any faster than like your average revolver, but I'm not really complaining. Great gun overall, yeah. Ooh. What the frick? Yeah, dude. The problem with it is I can never find like an optic that works great with it. I think the ADHB reflex is like the closest thing I could find to actually a usable sight on this gun. I don't know why. At the number four spot though, we had the 5.7, which is an overall amazing gun with a couple like really weird quirks, which is first off, you have to hit basically only torsos for this to be amazing. If you don't, it's kind of meh. And secondly, it's got weird recoil. I'm not going to lie. So it can three shot torso to 80 studs, which is like double the 3 kill range of basically any other semi-auto pistol, which makes it super cool. Crack. And secondly, it can four hit kill torso at any range. It also has 2,500 velocity, 100 reserve ammo, and a 20 round magazine, and extremely accurate recoil. But it only has that 80 stud three hit kill range if you hit only torso shots. If you hit anything that's not a torso shot, it's no longer a three hit. It becomes a four hit. Even in close range, it's still going to be a four hit, which is really not that great. But it also has a 30 round extended magazine. So if you really want to spam, it's actually pretty good for that as well. And it has about three times the penetration depth of any other pistol, not even like, you know, Glock 17, but like. 1911, anything like that, probably gonna have about three times the amount of pen. It has more pen than the Glock 50, which is a freaking 50 cal, you know? So yeah, three to a four hit at any range, 800 RPM, really low recoil. It's just strange recoil, you know? That's just the problem. It has strange recoil and it can only do that to the torso. And that turns this gun that should be amazing into a gun that basically nobody uses. And I think that should probably change because, yeah, it still has the problems with the recoil and with everything like that. And do I think that they should change the recoil? Probably. The recoil on this gun is super strange. And I think if this didn't have that kind of strange recoil, it would maybe be the best pistol in the entire game. But also if they just remove that recoil in the test place just to try if it's actually going to become super meta or not. You still gotta hit the torso, so it's still kind of difficult to use to actually get a three hit kill or anything. Probably one of the best pistols you can ever main. It's kind of meh for a long range because, you know, you can't really see that well with it. But as you can see there, like, you can beam from so far. Is it the most underrated pistol in the game? Possibly, but also, it's not necessarily the best pistol in the game because of its downsides. I think the recoil on it is kind of horrendous. Of course, I can beam from that far. Not all the time, and like, a lot of the time, this gun just feels kind of weak and annoying to use because of the recoil. It's not the most underrated. I can see why people don't like it, but I think it is still kind of underrated and probably if they changed it, it would be the best pistol in the entire game. But next up, we have a gun that a lot of people used to love. And it was probably one of the best guns in the entire game until they nerfed it. And that is the 93R. Back when you can actually hyperburst this thing, it was amazing. It had like very little recoil. It had 20 round magazine capacity, pretty good three hit kill range. Best of all, it had 1,100 rate of fire, which is imagine the Glock 18. It had really good recoil and could three shot kill and five shot kill at any range. That was basically this gun. But now it's got some recoil. And of course, you can't hyperburst. So you can shoot it pretty fast and burst. But before, it was basically an auto gun. Imagine this bursting speed, but like, 
you know, you could actually fully do that. Also, this lobby is literally dying. I'm gonna have to find a new one, dude. Hopefully a close range map because uh, I think this would be better in close range. Since this is a three shot burst and it has a three hit kill up close, this will still be able to one burst body in close range, which is still pretty good. If you think about it, it has like the best ammo consumption of any machine pistol because it also has 80 reserve ammo and only really requires three shots versus other guns. Or maybe they require three shots to kill, but you're not going to use three shots. You're going to use an entire magazine because they're automatic and hard to actually control. There we go. So because of that, if you want really high KD games, we're going to have a gun that basically can be used for the entire freaking game and not really run out of reserve ammo. It's really good. And also, it is a 9mm gun. You're probably going to pick up your bullets from basically everybody you meet. Really good in terms of ammo consumption rate and everything. But that's not really the most important stat. It is a good stat, but like it's not the most important. The main thing here is that it has 1,100 RPM and can one burst. And this is farther than something like the Micro Uzi because it has a 30 stud max range instead of a 20. But maybe you like miss a shot or something. You're bad at bursting or something like that. Yeah, you're you're not going to be able to use this gun, but I do recommend it overall. If you want to have just a little bit of a different machine pistol, it's really still a great gun. It's super annoying to use for most players because actually it's more like a real burst weapon. It's not going to be like a spammy kind of burst, but more like an auto, which makes it super skill based, but also really good if you can use it correctly. And I really can't do that that often, but I have actually kind of gone off with this gun a few different times and been like, oh wait, it's actually still pretty good. Just kind of, I don't know. I think it needs like a little bit of a range buff or something. Not a bursting speed buff. I like the idea that it can be used as an actual burst. If it was just a regular burst, it would be kind of annoying because like it'll just be an automatic gun. But actually making it a real burst weapon is it some reason to be used for its intended purpose? Not necessarily like the best gun for everyone, but it's still pretty good. And number two, we have the Obras. I see a lot of SFG users in this game and I think the SFG is a fun gun, but a lot of people use it because they actually want to get kills with it, which is kind of stupid because you may as well just use the Obras. The Obras can one shot headshot, two shot body, has 90 RPM and has no choke. The SFG you can just miss because you're bad and also you can miss because there's just random spread to the gun sfg i have missed so many shots over range because it has so much freaking random rng to it and it's just annoying you don't want to like miss your shots just because of that and the obras you just hit your heads and you're good why would you ever freaking oh wow that was a good shot use the sfg when you have this if you want to pre-buy sniper secondary try the obras you might not be as good at first with it because you can't like one shot to the body but like it's a significantly better gun if you're a better player so how to get better with it and you'll actually pop off. Our number one underrated pistol will be going to the Glock 40. The Glock 40 can three shot way easier than the 5.7 can. It doesn't have as much velocity or pen, but still has better velocity and pen than a regular pistol does and can four shot limb at any range. Not torso, it can four shot to the pinky toe. It can more consistently three shot to the body in close range as well. And it can two shot to the head, which the 5.7 can't do. So basically this is like a 5.7 with a little bit more recoil, but significantly more consistent damage. The headshot multi is also broken. It has a 1.75 headshot multi, which means it does 40 headshot damage all ranges. You can hit two limb shots, but you only gotta hit one torso with this one versus the 5.7 has to be all torso shots, which is a little bit unfortunate. The 5.7 does have, technically speaking, better recoil, but this has more generic just going up recoil versus, you know, weird recoil. It doesn't fire as fast and it has a bit more recoil, yes, but like it is definitely going to be an overall nicer gun for all ranges, close range and long range. This gun is absolutely insanely good, but like it's kind of difficult. Cool. Okay. As I was saying, this gun is a little bit difficult to use because you can't hit like three limb shots and kill. You gotta hit at least one torso shot. And it also lacks any kind of like one head, one torso combo. It's probably the single best pistol in the entire game all around. Maybe not the best pistol like when you compare it to the Eagle XIX, but like when you compare it to basically any other overall pistol like the Glock 17, this is going to beat the Glock 17 out. It has a four hit kill all ranges. Better velocity, better pen, better two hit kill range, better three hit kill range. It's a significantly better overall gun. In fact, it does like really similar damage the SKS if you kind of think about it and it's also a pistol there is that I don't even have a good trigger finger and I can still use it it's not as effectively as someone else could but yeah if you guys did enjoy make sure to like and subscribe if you're new but I will see you guys in the next one peace have a nice day oh wow this is a does he not know where I am